Podium Image Editor, or PI for short, is one of the new features of Azure Podium version 2 Plus. This video will go over the major features in PI. PI was created so that Podium users can do quick post-processing on Podium rendered images. By this I mean making changes to the bitmap image, such as the light levels, brightness, cropping the image, adding a background to alpha transparent images, adding an overlay and blending, etc. To do any post-processing previously, you needed a good image editor like Photoshop. Pi makes it easy to do much of the post-processing inside SketchUp and in fact from OOPR. Let's first access Podium Image Editor from OOPR. Highlight the finished rendered image, click Edit. This launches Pi with the rendered image. Let's examine Pi from the upper right. Always click on Cancel if you don't like the adjustments you have made before selecting Apply. There is no undo in Pi once you have selected Apply. The Auto Level button will attempt to even out the darkest areas and lightest areas with the midtones. You can use Auto Level as a start point and use the Light Level sliders to adjust the lighting if you like. The Light Level sliders can be used to correct dark areas, midtones, or excessively light areas of the image. Use the three controls to adjust the dark, bright, and midtones of the image. Under the Color tab, there are three color control sliders. Again, Cancel will undo or reset. If you click Apply, there is no undo from that point. There are some other obvious controls, overall brightness, contrast, blur, sharpen, you can blur the entire image and then sharpen it, vignetting, reduce an image is brightness or saturation at the periphery, as you can see here hue and saturation. Now we cancel that. Overlay is a way to blend two images. The two images must be exactly the same resolution. Here I've exported a SketchUp model to a 2D image using SketchUp's export 2D graphic command. What I did was I used hidden layer line styles with textures off and added a sketchy style for the edges and export it to 2D graphics. As you can see, I can move the sliders to blend the two images. I have the, the uh, SketchUp 2D graphic in the background and I can blend it with the Podium rendered image. This way I can blend in the line edges from the SketchUp image with the photorealistic image. Background is used when you have an alpha transparent podium image. This is where the alpha transparent PNG is used in the podium options. See, in this image I have transparent on, and I render that, and let me load a background. This is a photograph of clouds. Now these arrows control the position of the background image, so I can move them around with these arrows. Remember, once you've committed to apply, there is no going back. Cancel works while you experiment with the controls, but cancel will not undo after you have applied. Now let's take a look at cropping, another feature. This allows you to crop your image to a new resolution size. Once you apply the crop, you cannot undo it. But as you can see, I can zoom in areas, move the corners to resize the crop area, even put in actual resolution size. And when I'm ready, I can click on the apply crop. You'll be asked if you're sure. And then once you're done, 
the crop is applied. The lower slider is for zooming. The left icon is for the best fit, and the right one for the true size. And here's where you save your image. Now you can also access Pi from the Issue Podium version 2 Tools menu and use Pi as your SketchUp image editor. Here I'm accessing it from inside SketchUp and loading up an image. Now let's look at the final rendered and edited images.